So now that we went over the plugin, we're actually going to use it. Let's cook up a beat using only IOTA, shall we? All right, now that I have the chords, I'll just quantize them. So I want to see what happens if we pitch this up an octave. So I'm just going to hit Command A to select it all, then hit Shift Option Up Arrow. All right, I think I like that for now. Now that we have a foundation, let's go ahead and hit Command D so we can duplicate our track, get another instance of IOTA Mini here, and then look for a new sound. I kind of like how those notes sound, so I'm just going to throw them in there somewhere and try and rearrange them with the piano roll. All right, that'll do for now. Now I might even pull up another sound similar to that. Maybe something like a bell. Ooh, let's try some keys. I'm gonna put these little strums at the beginning of each of those chords. That way it can make them a little bit more distinct, but still keep the atmosphere of the pad. So normally I quantize, but I'm not going to quantize this one because it's going to get rid of the little flam that I have. Flam is whenever you roll the notes like this. Once I feel like I got a pretty solid idea with the melodies, I'll start working on either bass or drums. So let's just play around with some bass right now. Ooh. All right, let's duplicate our track and move on to drums. Let's start with one. So I like to keep all my instruments on separate tracks. I'm just gonna hit Command D, Option, drag down, delete one of these, and then delete one of these. Now I have my clap on one and my snare on one. All right, let's move on to some hi-hats. I think I might use the ones in drum kit one. There it is. Here's something new I've been doing lately. For hat rolls specifically, I'll pick another hat aside from the original. So let's just, for instance, say trap kit two. Now we go to MIDI effects, arpeggiator, and then we can pick the rate here. This is just a really easy way to do rolls. So I think I'm feeling an open hat. Ooh, that's a clean one. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now 
Now it's time for the kick. All right, so now let's make two sections. We're gonna make one with a normal bass and one with an 808. One more thing I wanna do, just to make this drop sound a little bit more epic, is to layer the clap with a snare. Now I think I was on drum kit three when I heard one that I really liked. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this in the same spot as the claps, but only whenever it drops, not on the whole thing, because then it won't sound special. It just gives it a little bit more body. And of course you can go in and EQ them to make them work together better. We're not going that tedious with it. Now this is about the time where I just slap a limiter on. And that just about wraps it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed IOTA and saw the potential of what it can do. And hopefully you'll be downloading it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.